What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Dad's Intervention Podcast. Um, I don't know where episode we on, but it's February. Uh, season three. We back at season three, episode one, baby. <laughs> there we go. Did season one and two go to Netflix yet? <laughs> <laughs> we are back. Your favorite dads are back, and it's three of us. Yeah. Of course, it's the next. I was going. I was going to skip past that, but this is 2020. He still don't know how to act. Yo. I was going to skip past that, but but apparently you just had to make a stab. Okay, it's your man Ace Brown. It's your boy Bill the Billionaire. Digging comedy. Hey, comedy. That show. So when you come, you can just automatically slide into the second place again. Let's look at that. Wow, see. this is a, you know some. Let's look at. Let's keep the party going. You don't miss all the season two. <laughs> Oh. Ghost. <laughs> ghost. I like ghosts. No, 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 no. No, he's like he like he like ghost daughter. <laughs> the baby. That, that only gets him like every episode. But you like they still got another kid. <laughs> oh, uh, but now, of course, our brother Bill is back. Welcome back, bro. Appreciate you. you. Appreciate you. We back um, in here. Of course, if you guys are just now getting up with us, you need to go back and check it out. Check out all our stuff on uh, YouTube and on all uh, platforms, podcast platforms. But, of course, we change it up a little bit. Instead of doing the Dads Believe It or Not, which we used to do during Season 2, we're doing something else that we have not called a title yet. We haven't figured out a title yet. But uh, it's just basically talking about what's, what's going on today from the Dads perspective. So, fellas, I want to bring to you all about Gail King and Snoop Dogg. Mm. How do about that how do, do you think gail was right do you think gail was wrong do you think snoop was right or snoop was wrong ding 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 go ahead did you touch that <laughs> i feel like both of them was wrong uh you can't two wrongs don't make a right the prophet said that i think it was benny cook <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's all you got no i think they both was wrong i think um gail this was not the time for gail to uh to be trying to do uh what she trying to get her, her framework questioning and trying to to uh, spend extra time on that on on that when while talking to friends of Kobe. I thought she was wrong for doing that, but I also thought on, on along with that on the other end, um the way Snoop decided he wanted to take it to social media, I think that was wrong also because uh, we're the only we're the only um, people that outwardly dig into our own. We're the only people that openly call out our our women bees and all the other things. Like <laughs> we're the only race that um, trade our people off for Black History Month. <laughs> <laughs> we do we do these things, and then we want people to respect us. But you can't res- it, but respect starts with from within. So you can't say call somebody a sister, but yet you call them another person a bee. We have to pick the side and stay on that side. If we want to move in, we want to move forward, and we want to if we want to move in a positive place where everybody respects everybody. Then we have to, no matter how mad we get at somebody, we have to still keep that same amount of energy. And I think I think he was really offline because he he really dug into it. But okay, I I mean I, I agree with you, I agree with I agree with you to a certain extent. One, I'm gonna get ahead and say, uh, touch Gail first. Gail, I feel like she should never she should have never even touched that. That 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 whole topic should have never been brought up. And especially it, I don't care about the timing or anything. You know what I'm saying? With the case being uh the case being dismissed and everything and right after his death and you talking to one of his best friends, I don't think that's something that you wanna get that you even bring up right now. Like this is this is not what we're about. We're talking about this man's legacy and then I heard somebody else say like he still has younger kids out there uh and, and the little one let's say the little one didn't even know you know the little one wasn't even born the, like the other like they, she might not even been born and the other one was a baby when this all happened so it was like why bring that up now my dad is gone and now you want to question your mom and you know the mother has to go back and explain all that and now they will start looking stuff up so i really don't like that about gail she should have just kept it straight about you know his basketball the friendship and the relationship she had with him and and that um aspect um but what well then now about snoop 
I, only thing I feel I didn't like about Snoop's thing was her calling her to be and all that kind of stuff. I didn't like that because at the same time, what you saying, like we're the only people that go on, like him going on social media, but we got to look at it like this. Gail was on live TV. You get what I'm saying? So she has access to the world on live TV, you know, doing that. And you disrespected my man in his death. So one, Snoop is still grieving. You know what I'm saying? So right now, forget all that. And I'm going to use my platform to get ahead and stand up for him. And, and, and say, like, yo, you were wrong. I'm going to check you. Now, the words he might have used, some of it sounded like he was threatening somebody. And he came back and said, look, I wasn't on some stuff like I was, you know, trying to cause violence or anything like that. But him calling out of her name, you hear Snoop talking about, you know, we got our black women, they're our queens, and this is this and that. So you can't go from them being our queens and then and, and then all of a sudden they're the beat the next day. You know right, what I'm saying? Exactly. So I understand when you come on that side. Besides that, nah, use your platform to stand up for your men. And, and, and check her because guess what? That aired and played is everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Snoop just aired on what's the name and it ended up popping like that. So at the same time, no, you got to see the fight and you're going to go through Now, I feel bad for Gail for all the death threats that she's getting and all that kind of stuff. But, yo, you played yourself. You really played yourself. Baze, how you feel about that? Um, I'm going to say that when you, when you look at the grand scheme of things, and it took a while for me to understand it, I think that... Um, Gail being a journalist thought that that was a very good question to bring up. I don't agree with the question because of the time that it was happening. I also agree with you, Bill, with um, it's dismissed. So whether you like it or not, I mean, every conversation when you walk up to a black person, you don't say, hey, so how your ancestors felt during slavery? Like, you know, what I mean. Mm. Even though that's something that we did know happened, you don't bring it up because it's in the past for whatever reason. So even though that is his past and she, the journalist in, in her may have said, hey, I want to dig up or get as much questioning as I could. Um, I don't think that that was right to ask point blank period because it was in the past. But as a journalist, ourselves were doing this podcast and doing comedy the way we do um um i think that it, it should have happened i mean i mean i i can see why she 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 did try to make it happen i do see that now as far as snoop dog goes i, I mean what does she think before you talk that what does she think the backlash was going to be you well, bringing that up right now like i don't think that she thought i don't that's the, that's the whole point i think that when someone goes ahead and they're journalists and they try to do those type of things they don't look at the backlash as negative because I, I think she she was going to get the same or she thought she was going to get the same as the, the R. Kelly supporters that didn't agree with it. You know what I mean? Like, all right, I'm going to get a little bit. I don't think she thought she was going to get this it. man is dead. My thing is, like, he's he's gone. And, 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 and don't get me twisted. She's doing her job. But one thing, this man is dead, so he can't even defend himself. You've had plenty of interviews. You know, she's talked to Kobe. I think some people, that she sat down with Kobe. You never brought none of that stuff up while he was here. You get what I'm saying? So now when he's gone, you're going to be there. And then as black people, I feel that we know we want to see our kings and queens doing things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So why in this point would I use this moment to bring another man down that's not even here to fight for himself, to even bring that back in the air? You know, that, that was, that's my main thing. And that's well, why I said I don't think that she thought she was going to get as harsh of a backlash mm -hmm. as she got. I don't think that she thought that part. I don't think it was a, you know, we all, when, when you go into certain things, um, she has a team, mm -hmm. and her team knows, hey, going into this, these are the things you're going to ask. These are the things you're going to bring up. Someone on the team should have said, nah, don't, don't go this route. But, hey, but I, I feel like she could have done that. Even like if y'all saw, she, did y'all see Bill, um, Bill Bellamy's uh, video? When he was talking, he posted something talking about it, and he basically said, like, yo, I had um, a chance to interview Michael Jackson when all this stuff was going on. Yeah. And there were certain questions on there that brought that up. But I wasn't asking Mike that. Like, no, nah, that's not what this is about. I'm not going to mess up my opportunity to do yeah, that. Absolutely. Same thing Same thing with Tupac. Like, they're going to give you all these questions like this. No, I'm not going to. This is when Tupac had just got out of jail. All this. I'm not going to get in and ask those questions right now because all I'm doing is giving them, they're going to miss the whole thing. If we're here to talk about his album and lift this man up, as soon as I bring up the jail thing, they ain't going to talk about that album. 
You know what I'm saying? If we see it to talk about Michael and I bring up him touching kids or something like that, that's all they're gonna miss allegedly, the whole thing. Allegedly, yeah, allegedly. Yeah, don't don't don't, don't get it twisted. Don't get, don't get it twisted. That's that's my man Michael. Michael ain't do it. But I'm just saying, like, that's stuff that's gonna be seen out there. So that's why I say Gil knew her questions before. She ain't just come up with that question. It that's was sitting right there looking at her. She did. And and you're right. She had every right to be able to pick. I just don't think that if we all remember uh, the gentleman star from Star and Buck Wild, mm -hmm. he was known for controversy. That was his thing. That was his niche. For a while, that was Charlemagne the God's niche mm -hmm. to be controversial. And I think that she she didn't mind the controversy part, but I don't think that she thought the extent that it was going to go to. I don't think she thought the extent was going to go to. Like I no, said, I, thought, I think she knew about the extent. And I, I didn't have a problem. Let me let me let me straighten this up. I didn't have a problem with the line of questioning. I had a problem with the after after um, Lisa gave her answer. She went back. You went back and it was digging in it. You were digging for that response that you needed from her. That's what my problem was because as a journalist, you have every right to get all. You, you get have a right to get the full story. So that wasn't my problem. If you want to bring that up. Bring it up, but bring it up in a respectable way. And I think there's a way that you ask that question. You be like, there's a lot of people out here, or even with his death, have brought up the the case and this, this and that. And like, how do you feel about that? Lisa could have said, "Look, I know what type of man he is. Right. This is his that." And the thing was dismissed. So after you know, if they want to get ahead and bring that up about that man, they don't know that man to really know him. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. and, and no disrespect to the girl, and they could have left it. You know what I'm saying? That might have been a lighter way to get ahead and ask that question. But I don't think you should. It's, it's, it's certain things you just shouldn't have touched. Yeah. You know? I, but you, you're absolutely right. The the way she could have. She, she could have. It's different ways she could have went about it. She could any way about it without going that way. Mm -hmm. She could have, like you said, she could have easily said, um, as we sit here and we talk of this great, this band's legacy, do you do you feel that the the, the controversy that he was a part of um, should it be part of the legacy? What do you think, mm. Lisa? Yeah, you know, and let her like, bring him out of that. Still get your question across without it having to be something disrespectful yeah. or degrading. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, you're like, absolutely right, and we, we don't have to tear each other down. And that was that's the that's the whole point. Like that's why I said they both were wrong. She had no, she didn't have to tear, try to tear down the legacy of Kobe Bryant in the interview. That wasn't her purpose. That wasn't her need. There was no need for her to do that. She could have said what she wanted to say, asked the questions she wanted to ask, the que ask whatever questions she wanted to ask, and still honored the legacy of this man mm -hmm. who, was, who was tragically taken away from us. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I would I would definitely say that even with Snoop Dogg, I think that he used his platform, like Bill said, to, to say what he had to say. But let's not forget that Snoop Dogg is from the hood. So his choice of words is his choice of words. Um we can't then all of a sudden say, "Hey, you can't, you can't use bees." This is what he was known for saying for the longest. Mm -hmm. I mean, let's not forget that this is this is a man that grew up in the street. So, okay, if but this is the same man that also came out with a whole gospel album and got a Stella Award. Like, yeah. So you still but you, but, can't, you can't flip flop if you want to if you want to try to take on a if you want to take on a certain facade. If if Bill is going to be a clean comedian, he's going to be a clean comedian. Yeah, but now, you, if he, he hey, can't come off and say I'm clean now, and then as soon as he get mad, get on social media and start cursing people out, and then still no, expect people to still take you that no, serious. You can't say that because, of course, when he did a, when he did a gospel when he did a gospel album, he didn't say I'm a gospel artist. It was him challenging himself to do a gospel album. Right. So because of that, it was just like when Steve Harvey did his uh, stuff with Megafest. Steve Harvey just was like, yo, I could do this. I could do clean. It's just like if me and Bill say, hey, I could do clean, it's totally different than you because you're thinking, I mean, I'm a clean comic. You know, no matter where I go, I could be in secular um, secular comedy or what. I'm still a clean com a comic. Whereas me and Bill say, well, what does this show call for? If this show calls for clean, then I can do clean. But if this show calls for me to get down right dirty, it's fine. But what I'm saying is, we cannot, and I'm not. I'm not giving Snoop Dogg a pass for it. What I'm saying is, I'm not going to forget where he comes from, and where he comes from, that language and that that aggression normal. is normal, and it comes out when he's mad. Now I'm going to flip it because we did bring up something. Ari Shafir, who is a cop, 
did something very disrespectful. And just like Bill said about Snoop Dogg, I'm going to use our platform. And I'm going to say it because I even use it on here. And, I, and, and D, I know you post the video so you can tag, you can hashtag Ari Shafir. If I ever see that man, mm-hmm. I don't care what year it is, I'm smacking the shit out of him. <laughs> Yo, that, no, 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 that dude. And you, that, what I mean, that, no, no respect for that man. I'm gonna tell you, as a comedian, like yo, what I miss, what happened? All right, so Ari Shafir is a comic. Um, I don't know what he's based out of, but I know he goes New York, L.A., whatever. Um, you know, mainstream comic, and supposedly he does this after every uh, co- you know, uh, celebrity passes away, he tries to dig up something, and that's fine. But my thing is, not only did he 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 mock. Kobe Bryant's death, but he said that's what happens when you rape people. Um, you get what's coming to you, and that's how you know we 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 um, finally uh, a rapist got his day and everything like that. And it was just a and whole. He was like, "This is a great day for Laker Nation yeah. and, and he, all this other stuff." Like, yo, it, it was out there. Like, here's the thing that got me, and this is what made me say, you know what? I don't care what other comics yeah. do. You know, some comics will sit here and don't and don't say anything. But me as a comic, you know, like two race said, two race said, oh, I guess y'all ain't have enough. Y'all ain't keep that same energy that y'all had towards everybody, you know, um, that 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 when this happened. Like Ari Shafir wouldn't be working at all if, it, if, if, if I was anywhere near him. But he did the video. He did the video. But here's what here's what made me upset. I'm with you. Same thing you said, D about Gail being a journalist. Same thing, Bill, you said about Snoop using his platform. Same thing I said about Snoop growing up in. Ari Shafir made the comment, and when he made the comment, he first said, I was hacked. It didn't happen. That wasn't me. This is you talking about from Twitter, on Twitter? Yes. Yeah. Then he turns around and said, yeah, I did do that, but I also, and then he tried to, he tried to make, you know, try to uh, paint the facade that Hey, but I always do this. It wasn't. It wasn't meant to be. Nah. So I'm gonna use my platform again. Mm-hmm. If I ever see this man, <laughs> I never met him before. But as my brothers, as I'm talking to y'all, I'm smacking shot. Yeah, that that was just straight disrespect. And it wasn't even like it's a too soon joint. You know what I'm saying? Like it was. It wasn't ever around. I, didn't he say the one about Kobe passing? That's unheard of. Da, 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 trying to make a joke about you know Kobe not passing on the court and they'll be like like and this is all hours uh, after his death. The crazy thing, like I said, him using you could use your platform, but stand by what it is. Mm-hmm. Stand by what it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I couldn't say it on a, I couldn't say it on on my station because um, I'll be honest with you, uh, Kobe passed on Sunday and my first day on the job was Monday. And I wasn't going to start off by getting fired. <laughs> Yo, today, this is my first and last show. So I was going to use that. I was going to use that. Had I been a, a year or so in, I would have used that platform to say it as well. Mm-hmm. But um, I could speak more freely on my podcast. Oh, you yeah. know? And I'm I'm a smack child when I see him. I promise you. You need these hands and foots. Word. And and it's just, <clears throat> so I, as a comic, like, yo. Yo, I, I don't, you know, you, you got so many, he done, he done, he done, he done made his Twitter page private now. Mm-hmm. Like, my dude, you, you had all that to say before. Keep, yeah, nah. Keep that same energy. Yeah, I, and I'm telling you, if I see him in the city, if I'm ever home, I, or, I know when he said it, he was in Charlotte, and I was like, damn, if I could get to him right now, I would. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a, I'm a. Yo, once once things get a little bit more comfortable down here, that's three places. Cause I'm telling you, he he got to stay on the West Coast. Cause if I ever come across him, I'm smacking the shit. Yeah, he's, he's a problem, but we, we we wasted too much time on him anyway. But uh, yeah. um, but that's that's it, man. That's 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 all I got for this week, man. Uh, y'all make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this YouTube page. Cause you never know who may want to go ahead and comment on it. And please let let it be known. We don't block our comments. We appreciate all of it, positive or negative, right? Yeah. So we'll see y'all next week, right here. And, and before before we uh, sign off, um, H, you owe us five dollars in the curse jar um, for your you five did. curse words. You did. We just want to put that out there. When did this start? We we never cursed on this show. Shit, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm like, I don't be here. <laughs> I'm like, so the dad's cave is going or something? What's going yeah, on? Yeah, right now. Look, look. Dad's look. cave different, but we're all the rest of the show. We don't curse. But... No. Right. <laughs> this, this, this episode. Till not... t- 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 next time. <laughs> Peace. All right. Daddy, daddy, daddy. <laughs>